day above all days, we recall those who served in war and who did not return to receive the grateful thanks of the nation. We remember those who still sleep where they left, where they were left, amid the holly scrub in the valleys and the ridges of Gallipoli, on the rocky and terraced hills of Palestine and the lovely cemeteries of France. We remember those who lie asleep in the ground beneath the shimmering haze of the Libyan desert, at Badia, Derna, Tobruk, and amid the mountain passes and the olive groves of Greece and Crete, and the rugged, snow-capped hills of Lebanon and Syria. We remember those who lie buried in the rank jungle of Malaya and Burma, in New Guinea, and in the distant isles of the Pacific. We remember those who lie in unknown resting places in almost every land, and those gallant men whose grave is a never-ending sea. Especially do we remember those who died as prisoners of war, remote from their homeland and from the comforting presence of their kith and kin. We thank those of our women's services who gave their lives in our own way, in our own foreign lands and at sea, and of those who proved to be, in much more than name, the sisters of our fighting men. We recall too the staunch friends who fought beside our men on the first Anzac Day, the men of New Zealand who helped create the name of Anzac. We recall of those who gave their lives in the Royal Navy, the British Army, the Royal Air Force, the Merchant Service and in other British and Dominion forces. And we think of those British men and women who fell when for the second time in history their nation and its kindred stood alone against the overwhelming might of an oppressor. We think of every man and woman who in those crucial hours died so that the lights of freedom and humanity might continue to shine. We think of those gallant men and women who died in Korea, Malaya, Borneo, Vietnam, and in peacekeeping forces to assist, to def assisting to defend the Commonwealth and the countries of the free world against a common enemy. May these all rest proudly in the knowledge of their achievement, and may we and our successes in that heritage prove worthy of their sacrifice. Thank you.